Matthew da Silva March 21, 2018 10.38 p.m. March 21, 2018 10.38 p.m. ON Monday, Hong Kong's Securities and Futures Commission announced that Black Cell Technology Limited halted its initial coin offering to the Hong Kong public after regulatory action. Although Black Cell's eco terms and conditions now bar Hong Kong investors, its website and fundraising mechanism appear to remain functional. On March 19, 2018, the Securities and Futures Commission SFC, of Hong Kong issued a statement about Black Cell Technology Limited, which, after an SFC action, agreed to unwind its initial coin offering ECO, to the Hong Kong public for digital tokens called KROPS. The SFC expressed concern that Black Cell had pursued unauthorized promotional activities and unlicensed regulated activities. The statutory body determined that a structured Black Cell's eco would be considered a collective investment scheme, CIS, where an eco involves an offer to the Hong Kong public to acquire an interest to participate in a CIS, prior authorization or licensing requirements under the SFO, Securities and Futures Ordinance may be triggered unless an exemption applies, wrote the Commission. An interest in a CIS is regarded as securities, as defined in the SFO. As such, Black Cell lacked appropriate registration and the company was asked to provide refunds to Hong Kong investors. The terms and conditions on the Black Cell website now read, The following token sale is not open for American citizens and or U.S. residents, Hong Kong, sixth citizens, as well as in the Philippines and its citizens. It is also not open to any citizen or resident of a country that does not allow participation. However, at the time of writing, it appears that Black Cell's associated website remains operational and it's unclear what protocols, if any, the company has implemented to exclude prohibited buyers. The Black Cell and KROPS teams did not immediately respond to requests for comment. In January 2018, the Securities and Exchange Commission of the Philippines issued a cease and desist order to Black Cell as well as its related companies and employees. However, a search of the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission's website did not return any results related to Black Cell Technology Limited or KROPS. This eco seems to be exemplary of the challenges regulators face due to the global nature of business and fundraising undertaken through digital currencies. Even if one jurisdiction shuts down an offering, that doesn't mean that the eco will just go away quietly. Last month, Ethnews reported that the SFC sent advisory letters to cryptocurrency exchanges and eco issuers linked to Hong Kong. The statutory body also issued a statement on ICOs in September 2017, although the Hong Kong SFC has allowed for investment in American-issued Bitcoin derivatives, as long as financial intermediaries possess proper licensure, it appears that the Commission is more wary about the eco market. Hong Kong SFC Black Cell Securities and Futures Commission Eco KROPS Scheme